Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to take a look at a Technix FM AM serial receiver, a model number SA5250 with uh, no output and a stereo FM stereo indicator light which doesn't light up. In order to get this receiver open, there's four Phillips head screws that need to be removed. There are two on each side, two on the left side and two on the right side and then the wood cover should slide right off. So I removed the top cover and now I'm going to remove the bottom plate too, the bottom cover. This is how it looks from the bottom. I put the receiver on its side. It looks like there's six screws holding this bottom plate on. I'm going to go ahead and remove those. They're Phillips screws. So I took off the bottom plate and Sometimes they're different size screws, so what I always do, I just take a plain piece of white paper and I make a basic sketch of like where the front and, for example, where the back is. And uh, I make little X's where the screws are supposed to go, and then I just take a piece of tape over and take each screw, and you can see right there, just tape it down. like that. I mean that's the way I do it and I've never lost a uh, screw this way before. You can see like I've labeled here the, the left side here is going to be the front and this the right side here is going to be the back and of course I label it the bottom plate. So when I put this thing back together I know exactly where everything goes. I do this all the time not just for the bottom plates for basically about anything if there are more than you know more than a couple of screws involved. I'm now going to check if I have any output at the large filter capacitors of the power supply. I got minus 33 volts right there. Let me go to the other one. Thirty-three volts. So I would I'm going to rule out a power supply problem now. I'm going to go ahead and check the uh, fuses. This thing has uh, speaker protection fuses. They they look good with the if you look at them with the naked eye. But I'm going to go ahead and check them anyways just to be sure before I do anything else to this uh, receiver. Looks like they're both good, which is uh, bad luck, I guess. That would have been an easy fix. I'm going to check the power output transistors in circuit. There's four of them. One, two, three, and four. Now, I hooked up my leader transistor tester to one of the power output transistors. And this is what I got. Uh, you can do an in-circuit test with this uh, piece of equipment. It's just with just a basic go no go test. You can see how I got the leads here hooked up. Now I'm just checking the next transistor and according to my uh, my transistor tester it shows this as being bad so I'm gonna to have to take this out and to basically unsolder it and it's bolted in or unbolted and then uh, check it again I'm still doing in circuit testing this time with my ohmmeter I've got the lead hooked up between the emitter and base of that transistor which showed bad on my, with my uh, trend leader transistor checker and here's what I got it showed me a basically a short so I reversed the leads and I'm still getting a short 
very low ohms. Now here's a transistor that measured bad when I did an in-circuit test with the uh, transistor tester and with the diode test function of the digital multimeter. I've got this out of circuit now and I'm going to go ahead and check it again with the uh, diode test function of the digital multimeter and right now see I've got the emitter lead hooked up and I'm going to go ahead and hook that up to hook up the other side the other test lead to the collector and it's showing a dead short so I'm not even going to bother reversing the leads and let's see what we got between emitter and base Looks like 1.5 and the other way around which is 0.5 that's not right either one of them should be uh, basically showing about an open a really high resistance which it's not which it's not doing Now to check between the base and the collector. Reversing the leads. Mm, same story. I would say definitely this transistor, I'm going to have to replace this thing. Now here's the other transistor from the same channel which checked out good with an in-circuit test. I've got it out now and I'm going to go ahead and check this one again with the diode test function of my DMM. Let's try it again here. Check it. Test it between the collector and the emitter. That's showing an open which it actually should so that's okay. Let's go here between uh, the emitter and the base. Okay, 0.5. It's a forward voltage drop. And this here, I switch the leads around. Show an open. That's how it should be. And now we're going to go between the collector and the base. 0.5. Reverse leads. Basically showing open. So I would say this transistor is looks like it's good. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the board which holds the driver transistors and some other components. I'm removing the board because I think that's the easiest way for me to go rather than trying to you know get in here like this I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can't pull this pull this thing out There it goes. Now here's the driver transistor that I pulled, which was which it was directly in front of that power output transistor that was bad. I'm gonna go ahead and check this now. So the pin on the left is the emitter, the one in the middle is the collector, and the one on the right is the base. So I'm going to go ahead and start out by doing the checking between the emitter and the collector. I'm using the diode test function of the digital voltmeter. Oh, that's a short right there too. I don't even have to do any further tests. Let's 
switch leads around same thing this one's bad so so far I've got two bad resistors oh, excuse me two bad transistors um, I checked out the resistors on this board the low ohm resistors and they're all good so I think I'll have to replace two those two transistors actually I'll have to replace four of them because I'm going to have to get matching the driver transistors they're going to have to be a matching pair and the power output transistors are going to have to be a mat uh, matching pair too so I'm going to go ahead and order four of four transistors <laughs> 